as you can probably tell there's a lot of country up here big big country large vast expanse of woodland a lot of places for deer to hide venison leaked all in my bag now everything's got blood water on it which is just delicious how's it going everyone sorry excuse me getting a bit of that gravy goo in my in my face hole because it's got caffeine in it and that's what I'm after right now so, yeah, basically, my plan today was to come up and go spend the night, get up in the morning, go do some hunting. Rifle season has opened up here. As you can probably tell, there's a lot of country up here. Big, big country, large, vast expanse of woodland, a lot of places for deer to hide. So my original plan was to come up tonight and stay the night and then get up in the morning go do some hunting hunt throughout the day stuff like that i brought my hammock and tarp and sleeping bag and all that stuff in my bag but i got a much later start than i wanted to a much much later start than i wanted to i didn't get here till three o'clock every spot that i've tried to go to is crawling with people with the same idea as me right now all out hunting oh my god <sighs> These cliff shot double espresso. When I got them, I wanted them to just like this, something quick to grab with some caffeine so I didn't have to boil water and all that stuff on certain days. Oh god. And I've probably said this a million times, but it literally tastes like gravy. Congealed gravy, like if you took one of those thick those jars of like thick gravy and you just drank it. <laughs> that's what this that's what this the consistency and the taste of this thing is like but anyway yeah that's the plan i'm gonna throw on obviously my orange i've got my orange hat this has got some orange on it but i've got a orange vest i did have one of those but i don't know where i put it i think actually i think it broke so they're only cheap got a little grunt tube fire stick my wife actually bought me fat fire rope fat rope whatever we call it uh, and that's it and I'm gonna throw on the GoPro on the chest mount and my plan is the Sun is down that way so that's south so I don't I don't claim to know anything about deer hunting up here or deer hunting in the big woods I've only done it once I was last year and if you've seen that video my plan literally was just to to hike as far as I could along trails and hope that something came out in front of me and it didn't obviously that didn't work that was no good but that was the best plan I had and I still don't know anything about deer hunting I don't claim to know much but from what I've been reading and from what I've seen myself this year with the bow hunting from what I've seen a lot what I've heard a lot is south facing slopes when it's cold the bucks are like to be bedded up there in the sun just like basking in the sunshine and that buck i got this year when he bedded down away in front of me my stand was up on a bench on a little flat spot higher up on the hill and he just there was a little flat spot and he just sat himself right there in the sunshine just munching away so that's my plan of attack right now this evening afternoon it's three o'clock but it's going to be dark by six so i don't have that that much time but I'll show you. Obviously the sun is coming from that direction, hence the reason why I keep squinting. So yeah, my plan is start over here, go up over this way, around, down towards the south, and then I've got this other little hill right here, and then that should bring me back down towards the road, and I can make my way back up the road 
to the Blue Bay. But we'll see, we'll see how that goes. It might be futile and stupid and pointless, but I don't, but we'll see. And hopefully we'll make it back to the truck and then maybe depending on the situation, we might just camp here by the truck tonight, but we'll see. I don't know if I, I didn't bring enough. I should have brought my twig stove. I brought a little bit of gas in one of those gas canisters. So I could boil like some water for a cup of tea if I wanted to, but I didn't bring enough to cook my food. So I've got venison for stew, which needs to boil and simmer for a little while. So anyway, let's get our gear on and let's get after it, shall we? Yorkshire Cowboy. One thing I do love about lever actions is, obviously right now, I can keep one in the chamber. It's got safety on this side, which is on, it's safe. But then I can cock it, lower the hammer, and now it's double safe. You see what I mean? Because I have to pull the hammer back, put the safety off before it'll fire. My only issue is, I'm left-handed, I shoot left-handed, and obviously this is a right-handed gun, but most guns are. Anyway, let's get to it. So originally, I set off towards the south, and I was following a trail and saw some okay sign, a lot of droppings, and then a, part, a couple areas where I think there could have been beds. But as I was making my way that way, my wind changed, and the wind is blowing south. So my plan is to stop. Wait for a while. I'm now up on this ridge, as you can probably see. I'm pretty high up. So the plan, like I say, is way up here until it starts to get dark. And as long as my wind stays the same, start making my way slowly back towards the truck towards the north into the wind stopping as I go and sort of making some calls we'll see
Oh, well, she's a cold one, I'll tell you that much. So, <laughs> I was stood there on my way back down. I got about halfway down the mountain and I stopped and just thought I'd sit. I probably had like 20, 15 minutes left of shooting around the light. So I sat there, it was dead quiet at this point. There's no wind anymore. And I kept hearing like, sounded like, I know like trees fall down all the time and stuff without the wind, but this was like, you know that sound where you, you stand on like a really rotted out log, that like crunching sound. It's kind of like that. And I kept hearing it over and over kind of on different spots just above where I was so I didn't I part of me kept thinking if it was a bear and it was like you know going around rotted stumps and logs and just like seeing what food it could conjure up because now would be the right time I guess so I was sat there like turning 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 looking around obviously it keeps getting darker and darker so then uh, obviously I kept hearing it but I got to the end of shooting light and I started to walk down the mountain and as I did so, a little branch whipped me in my eye and as I, as it whipped me, obviously I shut my eyes and did that and took a step and then I took a step, a grouse flew up and I was like, <laughs> about nearly pooped my pants. But yeah, the plan to go up that way and over was a bad one, I guess. Looking at it now, I should have gone this way. I mean, I'm sure I showed you from up at the top with the sun on this side of the mountain. I started off like just in here, just not far from where the truck's parked. It looks like there was a bedding area or maybe they're just eating the grass and stuff. There was a lot of sign in there, a lot of droppings. And I followed their track around, almost like an old logging road. It was kind of grown in. And I got to a point where I could either carry on going around to the south or it looked like they were coming from down, down from up the mountain. And the wind had changed and the wind was blowing south and I figured well there's no point in walking with the wind and going around to the south. I'll go up and I'll go against the wind and I'll just go up to the top and see if I can't see any sign. And I did get what when I got up there there was a couple spots where there was beds um, and there was one scrape but it looked old. And then I decided to come back down the east side of the mountain into the wind which again was a waste of time because a lot of spots there where again it looked like there would be perfect deer beds where if I was a deer I'd be bedding first thing in the morning sat in the sun as it's rising over here so yeah kind of messed that one up but you know it's part of the part of the learning curve part and parcel I guess I was probably just a little flustered when I got here from getting here late and not really thinking it through I mean my plan like I say my plan was to go down to the south but like with what I'm learning more and more with the deer is, it, you know, as long as you come from upwind of them, upwind of them? As long as they're downwind of you. No, what am I doing? As long as you're downwind of them and they're upwind of you, then you have a much better chance of getting closer to them. So yeah, next time, next time we'll see. Like I say, I didn't see any good sign as in like fresh rubs or anything, which is ideally what you'd want to see. I didn't really see any of that. So, I mean, that's good. One thing I learned, or one thing a guy who lives up here told me is, you know, try and hunt one area. As in like, try and keep hunting this same, you know, 10 square miles. That was my other thing. Still hunting, I thought oh, I'll go down that way, then over to that other hill the south side of that but once you get out there and the crunchy leaves and you're trying to still hunt you're not moving very far very fast either so that's the other thing i'd probably be better off again i reckon getting here earlier obviously if i was going to hunt in the evening go middle of the day up the north side yeah head up the north side i don't know depending on the wind and do that and then sit and see which way see if I can take some time let the woods be still for a little bit and then see if I see any movement so anyway it's getting dark it's getting light I was gonna stay over tonight but I think I'm gonna go home by the time I get home it'll be close to eight o'clock nine o'clock and then I'll regroup and see if I can do an overnight trip at some point later on this week so if you like it Give it a thumbs up, 
subscribe if you haven't already and as always take it easy <laughs>